we are on our last project from the Bonanza birthday online class. Thanks so much for joining. Um, you are going to have either striped paper with a parrot or just this yellow paper with the lion. And that's just because of the paper supply I had. Um, and how to cut this little box. I already have posted this on my blog and I have a little video from Facebook. So if you want to cut it yourself, let me know and I'll direct you to those. But I have already done it for you. So first step is just to fold all your score lines in. Okay, then this might be easier for me to see on this side. You will cut up all your little flaps. It is very hard for me to see on this patterned paper. So all your score lines going up to that, those side middle ones. I cut it a little smaller, but I don't know if I should on this box, so don't copy me on that yet. <laughs> okay, now when you cut this box, and you'll see if you watch my other video on cutting it, one side is bigger than the other, and you want to make sure that's your top. I should have already done that for you by putting a little half circle in the top, which I see this one's not even, but that's okay. All right, so now to make your box, you are going to tuck, oh, I missed that one. You want to get all your little flaps cut and the top half you're going to tuck these bottom ones inside here inside the middle and okay so these top flaps and the middle flaps are both going to connect to this top piece so let me show you what i mean so i'll put some adhesive there again the stronger your adhesive the better so I'll, I'll hook these to that side. And then these are gonna come up inside and that helps it. It just works better if you do it that way than to the bottom, having tried multiple ways. <laughs> okay, and then these are gonna fold up into this bottom piece. So get a little adhesive there. And by the way, this whole box and the little pieces that we're going to wrap around the candy, they all come from one six by six sheet of paper. So if you have a sampler pack of six by six paper, or you just happen to have six by six, you can make a whole bunch of boxes. Now, I'm not sure what happened there. I think when I tucked it in, I pressed it before it was flat, which is exactly what I did. But it's too late now, so I'm just gonna cut that little piece out because that's a result of me not being careful. But it's okay, we just wing it. it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so there is your little box. Then you wanna cover your chocolates with your wraps and you can pick which side you want to do. Um, sometimes I do them all the same. Sometimes here I did some, I, I hear I mixed them up. Some yellow, some lions, but then I thought that might be funny with just his body showing. So I might do all yellow this time. But you can do however you want. I think, nope. See, look, there's a treasure hidden under this one. More money. <laughs> My kids like chocolate and money, so you can fit a little bit of money like it fit a bill, so whatever size. I have a dollar bill in there, but you could fit, you know, any size bill you want. Stick a bill under there and it kind of is a fun surprise. All right, so whichever side you want to show, you wanna put your adhesive on the other side. Now, if you don't have the snail, glue dots are usually pretty strong. I've done that before where I just stick a glue dot on one end and wrap it around. I mean, because I, I think I've had a problems with this 
the snail or just the regular Tombow adhesive not sticking. Whereas with the extreme, you can see I'm just wrapping these around. With the extreme, it I I've had these made for a couple months or maybe not. Time's eluding me lately. <laughs> Can't remember when I made my last video, but I've had them for a while. And I, instead of having it go with the chocolate, because I don't know, I thought it might lift up, I go the opposite direction. I don't know if that's necessary, but that's what I do. And I'm just going to make all of mine yellow, although I don't know. I have a lion face right in the middle, and that would be cute, but that's okay. I will resist the urge. So I made the parrot one first and wanted to do that for everybody because I thought it was so cute. But then I was trying to make the most of my paper and I asked, I made this lion one and I wasn't sure what I thought of it. But then my, my son, he just said that was the cutest ever and he liked it the most. So hopefully whichever one you have you like and you can make more of the other one if you like it better. But I wanted to try the orange paper that's on the other side of the parrot too. That looked cute, but uh, this is what I got for now. All right, so that's our box and our chocolates. And then the front's really easy. Again, I just use the paper, so we don't really have to stamp. This just was punched with a two inch punch right out of the paper. The trick is you, you can't do them all because their circle runs into others, but that's okay. And that's why I ended up having to do it not all the same because I couldn't quite get enough of these guys out of everything. And I know that I just do all kinds of, some I use two, some four, but this is thinner paper, so I'm going to go ahead and put more on than I sometimes do. So I just, I don't know, it doesn't look like I quite centered it. I put it a little to the left. I don't know if that matters, but enough to have I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave enough for two dots. So the only stamping on this box is our Let's Celebrate You, which I can see I use blue, and it probably wouldn't have hurt to leave that blue on there and then do black, but that's okay. I fixed it. And again, my first time stamping it, I just like to stamp off once to make sure. Sometimes if I clean it and it's wet and then I go right in the ink while it's wet, I don't get good ink on it. So that's another reason I do that. And then I kind of hate to cover the little lion's body, but that's just how I get it to work. And here, um, I guess I could use a big one, but I already got a little one. That's okay. I put in that there, but on this end, because it's going to just stick to the front, I put a little adhesive. Let's celebrate you. And then these are, what are they called? Enamel shapes, glitter enamel shapes. Glitter enamel dots. And they come in these four colors. And I've obviously used up my blues. These are retiring. So if you like them, I love them. I use them for a lot of things. All right, <laughs> I'm trying to lift them sometimes. Your fingers work best. Anyway, um, get them before they're gone. Hopefully they're still there. I did not check that right before I came. Um, I only had three on my box, but it was just easier for me to cut and give you guys a row of four. And I don't know, maybe I didn't do it over enough. I'm having a hard time having room for both. Oh, there you go. They're kind of close together. So there you go. There's your little boxes. I hope you didn't have any problems putting them together. As you guys saw through all these videos, I have problems making projects I've made before. I just, making mistakes is part of crafting and in the end, it's all still super cute and it's okay and we have to let our perfectionism go. Just laying out my projects. The final hurrah of what we made. And thank you for joining the class. I will see you hopefully on Zoom this Saturday at 1 p.m. And you can ask me questions. We'll do a door prize drawing, or I don't know what's called a door prize. We'll do a drawing for anyone who comes. And I'll have a prize, and we can just say hi. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.